Hello everyone. DJI released a subtle update to their already excellent quadcopter, the Inspire 1. The upgraded version is called the Inspire 1 V2.0. So what's different in this new version? The major update is a new propulsion system that includes upgraded propellers and motors. According to DJI, the new propulsion system improves control and performance without deteriorating the flight duration. The only other upgrade apart from the propulsion system is a larger gimbal mounting plate inherited from the X5. Let's talk about the propellers first. The new set of propellers are named 1345T quick release propellers. DJI admits that the earlier propellers, the 1345S, could wear out sooner than its lifetime. Surprisingly, not during the flight operations but while attaching or detaching them onto the motors. The new propellers have a different mount that feature a smoother and even more reliable locking mechanism that reduces abrasion during propeller installation, hence prolonging the propeller's service life. By the way, the new set of propellers can be retrofitted to previous versions of Inspire. Coming to the motors, the new motors called 3510H receive a power bump from 350kV to 420kV, that's a little above 16% improvement in power. These motors are set to improve the flight performance and provide pilots with greater sense of control compared to the previous motors. And finally, the gimbal mounting plate. DJI does not mention this exclusively but it's evident from the pictures on their website that the new version of Inspire is equipped with a larger mounting plate for the X3 camera, similar to the one for the X5 camera. It should provide more lateral and vertical increase in dampening capabilities compared to the older one and of course it enables upgradability to the bigger and heavier X5 cameras. So, the question is, should you bother upgrading your Inspire to the version 2.0? Absolutely not. The earlier version just works fine. The improvements in version 2 are meant to equip the machine to handle the heavier X5 cameras, but I doubt you'll see any drastic performance or battery improvements with the X3 camera on it. Those of you who are contemplating to buy a new Inspire may want to get a discount on the previous versions if available in stores, but those who anticipate upgrading their cameras at a later stage should consider the version 2.0. Thank you for watching this video.